<laughs> Bell's Mafia. Ever present. Always watching. It doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what party you're at, or what sporting event you're watching, you're probably looking for one of the greatest finger foods of all time. It's messy, it's spicy, it leaves your tongue tingling, and it gets sauce all over your face and hands. I'm talking about the Buffalo Wing, and today we're in Buffalo, New York, looking for the best wing in town. Alex is on the wing trail. Here's what I'm looking for in a great buffalo wing. Size. It should be a medium-sized wing. Not tiny, not huge. The chicken itself should be well cooked. I want juicy, tender meat, nothing stringy. The skin needs to be crispy. I don't want skin that's gummy and falls off. And then the sauce, the most important thing. Equal parts spicy, creamy, and tangy. And I don't want wings that are dunked in sauce. I want it tossed nicely, a delicate coating on that crispy skin. You know how this goes. I've got 12 hours to hit as many wing spots as possible. I'm gonna invite some guests along the way and maybe pick up a couple side challenges to keep things interesting. Let's go. It's 11 a.m. and we're at our first stop on our buffalo wing adventure. And we've got some medium sauced wings. Just wanna note, there's gonna be a lot of these for me today. Gonna to be dropping stacks of napkins. Let's eat. First wing of the day, and I'm starting with a flat, because that's what I prefer. First thing I notice about this, sauce, obviously. It's the first thing you taste. It's really balanced, it's really nice. There's acidity, there's heat, not too much heat, and you get that buttery creaminess uh, coming through too. But that crispiness of the skin isn't quite there for me. The Lennox grill, it's attached to the Hotel Lennox. I don't think that's coincidence. These are big wings, and you know, you're probably gonna need a nap. You're gonna be in a little bit of a food coma after eating these. Get yourself a room, because this is the hotel wing. Why did I agree to get this face with this sauce on camera all day? <laughs> We are at Gabriel's Gate, and walking through that restaurant, the vibe in there is super weird and cool. It's kind of like if Grizzly Adams opened a sports bar, and they serve buffalo wings. Surprise. First thoughts. These are looking a little smaller than the ones at Lennox Grill. A Little bit less sauce, skin looks a little crispier, but we'll get to that when we taste them. And this chicken just seems like perfectly cooked. Like it's not stringy. You get nice big pieces falling off the bone. This sauce, holy. Gabriel's Gate. These are the angel wings, because once you cross through that gate, you're in heaven. Okay, we're at Anchor Bar. This is the birthplace of the buffalo wing, or so I've been told. It seems like this is the place where the tourists congregate and the locals kind of steer away from. I'm a tourist, I'm here. I will say that the skin on this is pretty crispy, but the first thing you notice is that the sauce doesn't really have much flavor. I can tell most of it is butter. Wings aren't that hot. There's not much acid going on. The wing itself, on the drier side, the skin is the best part about this wing. It's crispy, but the sauce, it just leaves a lot to be desired. The Anchor Bar, this is the original wing. Just because it's the original doesn't mean it's the best, but without this guy, we wouldn't be making this episode. We're showing respect where it's due. Oh, hey, we're on the Elmwood Strip at Coles. How are you doing? Afternoon, sir. Pretty good. How are good. you today? Pretty good. How about you? What can I do for you? Uh, could I grab a local beer? Local beer. IPA, maybe? IPA? Sure. Yeah. yeah. I have a couple questions for you, though. Sure, absolutely. Buffalo native? Buffalo native. Besides Coles, what's a must hit for Buffalo Wings? What's your, what did you grow up with? What's your personal favorite? A must wing? Yeah, a must, a must wing. Besides here? Yeah. And we have a very good one, I might have. Then you have Duff's out in the suburbs. Gabriel's Gate on the Yellow Street is very, very excellent. Okay, cool. They're one of the better ones downtown. What was the first wing you ever had? Do you remember? Where What's you fun? went for the first time you ever had the Buffalo Wings? The first time I ever had a wing? Yeah. Boy, that's a, that's a really damn good question. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling good. I've eaten a solid amount of chicken wings so far, but we got to push through more, a lot more. Cole's Wings, overall appearance, uh, looking pretty crispy. Sauce, not too heavy. Uh, we got that nice orange color going on. Skin on the chewier side, not necessarily the crispier side. Sauce, flavor-wise, mostly pepper. You're getting more of that cayenne. Size-wise, we're looking pretty medium here, liking the size. Still want a little more crispiness. 
Coles, this is the add-on wing. Maybe you're here for a burger, but you're not gonna skip out on an order of wings for the table. We're at Elmo's, and earlier I said I was gonna invite some friends along for the ride here. And this friend, royalty, <laughs> I wanna introduce you to the Wing King. What's yeah. the deal? How'd you get the name? So back in 2002, I started the National Buffalo Wing Festival because we didn't have one. If you ever saw a throwdown uh, with Bobby Flay, well, he came out and challenged me to a throwdown, and I was fortunate enough to beat him, so he coined me the Wing King. So, hey, if Bobby Flay says you're the Wing King, I'm rolling with You it. don't argue no, with that. No way, no way. What makes for a good buffalo wing? It starts out with the right oil. It's got to be a good oil that you're going to cook the chicken wings in. I like a large wing, not a jumbo wing. Okay. I don't want too much chicken. It's got to have that cayenne pepper sauce, like that Frank's Red Hot flavoring. For a traditional buffalo wing, that's what it's got to be. Can you teach me how to properly eat a flat or a drum? You've got different ways. You can break them and make two bones out of it, or one. That was extremely mm -hmm. professional. No. <laughs> I haven't done that at all today. So now that we've eaten a couple of these, What's your first impression of the Elmo's wing? What do you like about it? You know, now I feel the burn here, the bite here, but the flavor's on the tongue. That's a good balanced wing. Okay. I like it. I'm digging it too. This sauce is fantastic. Isn't it excellent? Really yeah. good. So this is a saucy wing. After the sports game vibe in here, right? What's the nickname for this wing? Double play. The double play. It's a double play. It's got the flavor and it's got the heat, the bite at the end. Double play with the wing king himself. <laughs> Do one bite in a roll? Cheers. One bite in a roll. Cheers. What? Roll. We're in uh, Amherst, right outside of Buffalo. And we're at Duff's, sitting at a picnic table by the scenic highway. You can't tell from sitting outside, it's popping off in there. There are a lot of people eating a lot of wings. Color-wise, we're looking a little darker. Uh, the orange is more saturated, which means probably some more hot sauce. Size-wise, we're looking medium to small. Skin is looking pretty well soft. Let's eat them. These are very saucy, but I'm not mad because the sauce is very flavorful. Not super crispy, it's not soggy. It's like kind of somewhere in between. Mm. It's got a lot of acid from the hot sauce, some vinegar, and it's got the heat too. It's starting to hit a little bit. Everyone's looking out for me. The Duff Swing, I think this is the Willis Carrier Wing. Oh, who's Willis Carrier? Well, one of my heroes, he invented one of my favorite things in the world, air conditioning, and he's from Buffalo. Thank you, Willis. Oh, hey, we're inside, we're out of the heat. And we're at Glen Park Tavern. Okay, initial thoughts on the paler side. Wings are looking on the smaller side. Saucy though, look at that drip. Hey, the vibe in here, Pretty old school, uh, you got vinyl tablecloths, and then you got some, you know, old timers at the bar sharing stories about the good old days. But we're here for the wings, not the old timers. Chicken is super tender. It kind of like goes off in pieces, not just little strings of skin. There's some crispy parts, but a little bit soggy. The sauce itself though, definitely heavier on the butter. I want a little bit more tang, a little bit more heat from it. This, in honor of the Bills Mafia, is the table breaker. Eat a bunch of these, Get that weight up. When you jump off of the car, you're gonna be sure you break through that table. Bill's Mafia, and they're scary. Fun, but scary. We're here with another order of wings, this time at Gene McCarthy's. And before we dive into these, I wanna introduce two more guests. We have Donnie, and Tom from Buffalo Eats uh, joining me for this review. Gene McCarthy's wings, first impressions. Look a little bit paler than we've had, look a bit smaller too. Take one, first question though, drum or flat? If it's a good wing, it's a good wing. Okay. Regardless of it. Fair. I disagree, it's all, uh, <laughs> drum all day. Drum all day, I'm uh, flat a, all day. It's an easy like just bite right off Bam. the bone. You gotta rip the, the flat in half, it's too much work. So the no discrimination on the side <laughs> and the lazy man on the side. <laughs> it's a little light on the sauce. Yeah, not much spice happening, not much acid, no tang really. A lot of butter, but the skin is nice and crispy. And the, the meat is actually fairly juicy. A little bit more chicken flavor than I'd like for a chicken <laughs> wing, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. <laughs> Tastes too much like chicken. What's the nickname 
for the Gene McCarthy's wing. We're in the, the old First Ward neighborhood, which is a super blue collar, like working class type of neighborhood. I would, I would maybe call this the working class wing. Gene McCarthy's, this is the working class wing. It works hard for what it does, and you don't want it in a suit. We're at Doc Sullivan's for guess what? Another plate of wings. Before we get into these, these are Smitty style wings. It means there is a spice blend that goes into the butter. You can tell already, probably pretty heavy on the butter just from the way it looks. Color's also a little deeper. Skin is super crispy and there's plenty of sauce on here. Oh. That's really tasty. And I will say all those spices in the butter just kind of like bring more of a depth of flavor to it. It's a little bit warm, it's a little bit vegetal. There's some nice acid going on the sauce. The one thing it's missing is heat. There's not much heat on this. It's like a very dull kind of heat. So the Vibe and Doc Sullivan's, it's dad-ish in there. Everyone's in there having their beer, watching the game. As much as I am enjoying the Smitty Wings, Doc Sullivan's isn't known for the Smitty Wings. What they're known for, thank you, are these. Uh, these are their beef on weck wings. This is tossed in a horseradish aioli and has caraway seeds on top. So it's kind of imitating that. This kind of roll is like only made in Buffalo really. Plus, they give you that nice little au jus dipping sauce. And it should be noted that this took first place in the 2017 Wing Fest. So you're looking at a champion here. Not a Buffalo wing, but it's a good wing in Buffalo. So Doc Sullivan's, this is the dad wing. It's gonna sit you down in a faded blue Bills shirt from 1993 and tell you about the fourth consecutive time the Bills lost the Super Bowl. Could have been the year, but this is the dead wing. We're at The Blackthorn in South Buffalo and another special guest joining me. This is a longtime friend and she's a Buffalo native. Alex Korczynski. Okay, before we start, drum or flat? Drum, for sure. And I'm a flat guy, so let's do it. All right, I know you're not like a blue cheese guy, but... Oh, I haven't been dipping blue cheese, just to make sure every wing is judged as a wing, That's not fair. a wing and a sauce. All well, right. not a wing and two sauces. It's good, it's pretty mild, medium, very dry, which I like. I'm not a, not a saucy wing girl. One other thing to note is this backyard, it's huge. There are ping pong tables, fire pits, cornhole, connect four, putt putt golf. Seems like a fun establishment. Uh, and if you go inside, you can definitely tell the owners are proud to be Irish. I'm digging the vibes here. All these vibes, all these flavors, we're giving this a nickname. What do you think the nickname should be? Hold me close to Irish dancer. Wow, <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, Alice Korczynski, you heard it, you heard it here. Uh, hold me closer, Irish dancer. I'm holding these close tonight. What do you know? More chicken wings. Uh, we are in Hamburg and we are at Mimosers. Also, we got a special guest. She's not gonna be eating, but that's Brooklyn. She's a real good girl. Mimosers makes their own hot sauce uh, to mix with the butter for these buffalo wings. So flavor profile, probably gonna be a little bit different. These are super crispy. The texture on the skin is mm. awesome. You get a little bit more of a super dry heat from it. Uh, there's there's definitely sauce on here, but there's not tons of it. It's not dripping off the wing. These are looking good size-wise, and you can tell that there's some other kind of spice going on besides that cayenne pepper. This heat's building on me in a very pleasant way. Lips are a little tingly now. Back of the throat, I feel it. This place feels a little bit different than anywhere else we've been so far. It just feels like it's the small town wing joint. So, mimosas. This is the hometown hero wing. Small town vibes, but it's got the heat to take you the whole way. It's a good wing. We got some Bar Bill Buffalo wings. They're looking kind of pale, which means probably not as hot. Skins are looking very crispy. Wings are looking on the smaller side. Buffalo wings, they're inherently a late night food. You can eat them during the day, but when the sun goes down, that's when the true flavor comes out. And you can tell everyone knows that because at Bar Bill, it's packed. Uh, everyone's drinking their beers, everyone's eating their wings. You drink enough beer here, you get your name engraved in a mug. I don't have one of those yet, but I do have the wings. So I'm just gonna eat these things. 
Skin, beautifully crispy. Mm. Light and airy and just crackly in all the right ways. The meat, perfectly cooked. I might want a little bit more hot sauce on these wings. It's leaning heavily in the side of butter right now, but they're cooked so perfectly that I almost don't even care. And there is that little bit of spice kind of creeping up on me right now. The barbell wing, this is the regular wing. Everyone knows your name here, if you drink enough. You got your mug behind the counter. And this wing, you know it's gonna be cooked perfectly every time you're in. The regular. Apparently, there's something called the suicide wing at Bar Bill, and someone on this production team thought it would be a good idea for me to eat them before I go to bed and sleep peacefully. This is the hottest wing here. There's a lot of hot sauce going on. It smells sharp and peppery in a way that doesn't make me feel great. <sighs> now all the flies are like, this guy's gonna die soon. <sighs> the next city that I wanna go to, <sighs> somewhere in Scandinavia or like the plains of Canada, Iceland. Oh, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna comment about how brave I am for doing this, they're actual tears. And subscribe to Bon Appetit's YouTube channel because it would make me really happy. So I'm gonna sleep on that and get back to you guys tomorrow morning. Barbell. 9-11 Tavern. Duffs. Duffs. Coles is absolutely number one in Western New York. I'm vegan. Okay, I got some sleep. I had some weird buffalo sauce dreams that I don't want to talk about. We're here though to tell you what the three best buffalo wings in Buffalo, New York are. And number three, Mamosers. Perfectly cooked wing, crispy skin, and so much flavor in that sauce. A really nice heat on it. Number two, I dined with royalty. I got a royal wing. Elmo's, that sauce was so balanced and beautiful. Tons of acid, tons of heat, and super, super creamy. That sauce was amazing. And what's the best buffalo wing in Buffalo, New York? Gabriel's Gate. You got me. You got me through the gate and I want to stay there. Those wings hit every mark I wanted them to hit. The size was perfect, not big, not small. The sauce was flavorful. Heat, acid, and butter all balanced perfectly. The chicken itself was cooked just tender enough and the skin was crackly and crispy with every bite. Gabriel's Gate, you got me. These were my favorite spots, but I'm sure you have yours. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. Thanks to the city of Buffalo for having us. Thanks to everyone at the bars and restaurants we visited for showing us hospitality. Thanks to the Bills Mafia. Kept me looking over my shoulder the whole time. I'm Alex Delaney, bon appetit. And I need to find some air conditioning.